Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called BGP Confederation. BGP confederations are used to break up the number of full meshes. Each confederation can have its own group of administrators to oversee it. In this example, we only have four routers, but they can represent thousands of routers. Confederations were designed to make administration easier for autonomous systems with thousands of routers as well as reduce the number of network connections needed. If an autonomous system had 10,000 BGP speakers, the autonomous system could be broken up into 100 confederations so that each confederation will only have to create a full mesh with an average of 100 routers. Here we have an example of a hierarchical system where the autonomous system 300 is broken up into three confederations and the routers in the three confederations are connected to each other using route reflectors, thus creating a logical full mesh between all the routers in the autonomous system 3000. This type of structure is useful when dealing with thousands of routers. The neighbor confederation identifier command identifies the autonomous system number as seen by eBGP routers. The neighbor confederation peers command identifies other neighboring confederations in the router's autonomous system. The neighbor eBGP multi hop command allows routers to connect to eBGP routers even if the interface is not directly connected. The neighbor nexthop self command changes the nexthop address in route advertisements learned from the eBGP neighbor to itself. We are looking at the terminal window of router route runner 1. Let's take a look at the routes Road Runner 1 knows about. Here we see the private IP addresses that Road Runner Autonomous System knows about. We also see the public IP addresses that are advertised to other autonomous systems through BGP. Now let's look at the running configuration. We can see that RIP is advertising the road runner's private IP addresses and that BGP is advertising the public IP addresses. Even though the autonomous system number is 9000, we will put the confederation number of 21 as the autonomous system. We will put the true autonomous system number as the confederation identifier. And we will list any other confederations in this autonomous system with the confederation peers command. We will connect router 1 with router 2 like we normally would, except that we'll use this confederation number rather than its autonomous system number. And we will connect to router 3 as if we were connecting to a different autonomous system. This is the terminal window of router road runner 2. We will use the show IP route command to view the networks that router 2 knows about. Router 2 knows about the same networks that Router 1 knows about, including Verizon and Sprint public networks. Now let's type in the show running configuration command.
RIP is advertising the Roadrunner private IP addresses. BGP is advertising the public IP addresses. We type the confederation number of 21. The confederation identifier should be the same as the autonomous system number. We connected router 2 with router 1, but not with routers 3 and 4, since they are both in different confederations. We are looking at the terminal window of router Roadrunner 3. Let's take a look at the route it knows about. Here we see all the private IP addresses that the Roadrunner Autonomous System knows about. Now let's look at the running configuration. We can see that RIP is advertising the Roadrunner private IP addresses. And BGP is advertising the public IP address with a confederation number of 43. We will put the true autonomous system number of 9000 as the confederation identifier. And we will list the confederation 21 using the confederation peers command. We will connect this router with routers 1 and 4, but not with 2. Finally, this is router 4 terminal window. This view the networks that router 4 knows about. Router 4 knows the same networks that the other three routers knew about. Here is the running configuration. RIP is advertising the Roadrunner's private IP address. And BGP is advertising the public IP address. Here we have the true autonomous system number, and we also list any other confederations. We connected router 4 with router 3, but we did not connect routers 1 and 2 since they are both in different confederations. In this video, we demonstrated how confederations could be useful in breaking up autonomous system into smaller pieces for administrative purposes and to reduce the number of full mesh connections. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.